Well, now at 40, your community focus. We're talking about the arts. After all, the Tony Awards were last night right here on CBS. The local arts community has been through a lot in the last year. That's for sure. And to talk about that and more, we're joined live now via Zoom by Randall Rosenbaum, the executive director of the Rhode Island State Council on the Arts. Randall, thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So you recently announced that you're going to be retiring at the end of the year. First of all, congratulations. Um, and we're Thank certainly you. going to talk about that. But, but first, I want to ask you about coronavirus. No secret, the arts has been potentially one of the hardest hit sectors. Do you think the industry has fully bounced back? And if not, when do you think that might happen? So, no, it's not fully bounced back. I, what I tell people is that the arts are the first to close down in in a situation like this um, for health and safety reasons uh, you can't have audiences congregating in an arts uh, venue uh, without helping to spread the virus so first to close down and often last to come back into operation uh, i've been very proud of the arts community and the way they have pivoted to online opportunities to outdoor opportunities to all the creative solutions that they can employ to ensure that the work is still seen and the work is still created but there's been enormous amount of um of hurt throughout the arts community, uh, resources drying up, opportunities drying up, uh, difficult times for artists to put food on the table and pay rent. And that's why the State Arts Council has stepped up during this time to provide an artist relief fund in partnership with a number in the number of folks in the community and to uh, change and expand our grants to support people through this difficult time. Now, you yourself have had certainly a front row seat to the arts here for three decades. How has the arts world in Rhode Island changed in your time here? Well, it's been interesting. Uh, it, certainly, the arts community has grown substantially during the past uh, almost three decades. Um, there are more artists here in Rhode Island. They are engaged in community at every different level. Um, People are being attracted to Rhode Island for all of the reasons that we in Rhode Island know are the reasons we're here. The, the, the quality of life here is second to none. And the um, creative energy that this state has to offer is unparalleled. Um, I've also seen over the past 27 years a real rise in the diverse voices that exist in our community. As, as you both know, we're an exceedingly diverse state, and each of those diverse communities and cultures um, have um, a really profound uh, arts and cultural aspect to them. Uh, those organizations have been growing as well, helped along by the by the Rhode Island Expansion Arts Program, which is a partnership between the State Arts Council, the State Humanities Council, and the Rhode Island Foundation to help grow and support uh, uh, new organizations that are emerging in communities of color throughout the state. The quality, you know, we're the home of the Rhode Island School of Design. We're the, the home of the Rhode Island Philharmonic and Trinity Rep and any number of incredible uh, arts organizations of, of international quality, basically. Um, that, has, that has certainly grown during my time here. And the impact itself has been profound. Uh, the arts represent over $2 billion worth of economic activity in our state, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce. The arts have a profound impact on the lives of every student in our state. Education is an essential part of every student uh, here in Rhode Island. And the arts also contribute to careers that people uh, want to get involved in. Um, the arts employ over 18,000 people in the state of Rhode Island, again, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce. And Randy, as you look back on your career, what do you think, this is a two-part question, what do you think has been your biggest accomplishment in your time with RISCA, and what's something you wish you could have accomplished? Wow, biggest accomplishment has, has really been um, underscoring the return on investment for the state. So the state provides grants and other kinds of support through the State Arts Council to uh, artists, arts organizations, teaching artists, schools, community centers, arts and healthcare activities. Um, these all have a profound return on investment in our state for kids, for seniors, 
to, to um, livable communities throughout Rhode Island. That has been the, some of the most rewarding stuff that I've been involved in. And seeing the arts active and in, engaged in community life has really been profoundly moving to me and to many others who are involved in this work. What would I have liked to do that was different? I would have liked to really advance the work of, um, of uh, the, the artists and the stories that they have to tell in the community. I think we're just starting to, to up our game as far as communication is concerned. The more people know about what the arts contribute to communities and to the quality of life that we have here in Rhode Island, the stronger our commitment will be to the arts. And I think there are some really amazing stories that could be tell, told. And I think Channel 12 is doing a great job in doing that on a regular basis as well. So congratulations to you guys. Randy Rosenbaum, thank you and congratulations to you as well, the Executive Director of the Rhode Island State Council on the Arts. Always great to talk with you. Great to talk to you as well. Take care.